Have you ever looked into the world of implicit knowledge? The nameless moments that rock your daily life? I call it the unspoken experience. My style is to create the nameless moments in general harmony and let people discover and allow people to get in touch with their own energy. And for the sake of that moment by moment story, I read it through. Read work in my thoughts over and over again. When the dialect communication is no longer possible, people will be looking for a new form of communication. I'd like to discover the value of human movement called Shosa, a form of communication that exists in implicit knowledge that has been cultivated in Japan. Shosa is single human movement, and there is emotion in every action. Two years ago at Salisbury Southwest 2018, I presented a piece of work that immersed the audience in virtual reality. As an opportunity to forget their daily life for a moment and perform Ikebana. The healing that comes from the extraordinary and the Japanese sense of harmony. The discovery and let it be in the moment. The sensibility of touching and expressing something with a sense of beauty. I'm convinced once again that the value and the inspiration I should cherish in my life right in the action of these flowers which have been nurtured in Japan in a way that is a far removed from my daily life How to handle this power is a reflection of my heart. A year later, I created a new literature of movements for temple, which is a particularly important part of Japanese culture. I've developed an innovative way of Buddhist preaching. An essential communication tool in the temple teacher called Hoji. Older commemoration ceremony provide a precious moment. When relatives gather regularly and remember the life of the deceased. Not many people appreciate the opportunity. Because over time it has been formalized and became an obligation for people. Commemoration ceremonies were used to form an important part of Japanese spirituality. But the times are changing rapidly. I try to change the way the commemoration ceremony is performed without changing the essence of the ceremony itself. The medium age group who performed the commemoration ceremony is 16th and older.
younger generation don't consider it as something they are required to do. I learned their value still is hidden. In a startup temple architecture, Chelly sit in a Jodo Shinshu Buddhism sect. For example, a wooden dragon sculpture represents an important symbol of a guardian deity. The lotus flower represents the diversity of life, in which each person shines in various colors equally. Despite the value solely existing in the interior of the temple, many people walk through without noticing it. Using this implicit understanding, I like you to imagine what movement might fit this moment. While listening to Buddhist preaching, if you hold an iPad toward an architectural feature in a temple, each story will appear on the screen as Japanese ink brush painting. This expansion of vision called AR, augmented reality, and this true sound design has opened up the harmony in a new world. This technology proved to be very effective immediately. Regardless of the generation, people who have experienced this new Buddhist altar has changed their view of the commemoration ceremony, usually seen as a boiling obligation. They entered the change form, a formal ceremony which became more interesting. Just for changing the attitude and the style, I improved the way people spend time during the ceremony so much. Buddhist preaching used to be one way in terms of communication in the past. But this new literature provides more interactive communication and mutual understanding. I think the same method can be applied to human communication. Because people's minds are invisible, you can watch their movement to understand them and show your movement to communicate your feeling. I'm skeptical of progressive approach that focus solely on trend, regulation, and the latest technology. That's why I made a special case and a story on a digital device and iPad. So this invisible tool is regarded as a Buddhist author. In my work, I'm spinning the moment that disappear when it floats, which I can't usually see. I'm finding new value by embodied attitude of oneself or someone, which cannot be talked about only by method and techniques. We come to fusion in movements. Not only the output that can be seen outside, but the secret is also in the process. Not just the pores of the moment, but the floor. I realized that it was created by many movements our ancestors had produced. The secret is hidden in the invisible part, and there is a world of far beyond imagination. The moment of the new value can be found not only by creators like me, but it's up to you to discover new movements. I'm currently doing a project with a Dutch musician to create a sound of each movement. 
and e c o m p l e t e d into an online NEMIS experience. And he said harmony is at the core of music. It is a magical way to express oneself and deeply communicate at the same time. Like a large orchestra playing a wonderful piece of music. Shosa is the harmony in all its f l e s h e of daily life. Our project is bringing that movement to the world. First, sharpen your senses, observe the people around you, and have an open mind with the bird's eye view. I'd like you to imagine what movement is expected from you now and embody it. I've decided to dedicate my career and life to create an always chase next unspoken experience. Like the flow of a river. <laughs>